Hi guys, it's Elizabeth, and yes, it is Monday. Jen had some things that she had to take care of, blah, that she had to take care of. I can't talk tonight. Um, that she had to take care of, so I'm taking on Monday, and she's taking my Friday, which is awesome. Love to see Jen on Friday. End my week with Jen? Beautiful. Um, well, not end, because Kristen comes on, but I mean, Kristen and Jen, how else would you actually end your week? Like, the beginning of the week, Marvin, and then, uh, I love it. I love it. Anyway. I am here to talk about relationships and being a BBW, a big beautiful woman, or BBM, a big beautiful man, regardless. Um, I actually, <clears throat> I've dated so many different types of people, and the one thing that I can say about being a big girl and dating and going out and having a good time and what have you it can be tough though I'm 30 and single a number of my big girls are married out there amazingly enough um, there are a lot of guys that maybe in the past wouldn't accept the social repercussions of being with a big girl but at the same time they don't want idiot stick figure either and these days they are coming out of their shell a lot more and a lot of women especially women are coming out of their shell about not wanting to be with a very muscled you know romance novel hunk of a guy they're not really interested in doing anything like that um i can definitely tell you that dating is a little bit harder and the reason why is because Depending on your age range, there's a certain amount, there's a certain level of social, social acceptance that people look for. If you look down the street, a lot of girls look like Britney Spears, which I think is really funny. They want to be Britney Spears, they, they want to be, um, what's that other chick's name? Um, Lindsay Lohan looking, or they want to be one of the Olsen twins or something like that you know they're walking around and it's so horrible well at least around here they're walking around in like pajama bottoms and flip-flops with socks it's really retarded I don't understand that but depending on your age range there's a certain amount of social acceptance and that's where you can find the and it's not even like a mature thing that's the thing I don't like I don't like it when big women are like, oh, this guy's more mature, so he accepts my age. What do you mean he's more mature? Like, what do you mean the guy, you know, is more evolved, has evolved past thin women? No, it doesn't, that doesn't make any sense to me. Everyone has a right to a preference. Some have a preference to a particular size. This is what they actually like, and nothing's going to change that. You know, seeing past size is like saying it's a negative like I see past someone smoking or I see past someone's alcoholism I see past someone's drug addiction I see past like it's not it's not a see past thing it's a preference and if someone has a preference for a particular look of a woman in real life not just in media but in real life um you're never ever 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 gonna change that there's no way around it. So when you're dating someone or you're about to date someone or you're trying to pursue someone, see how comfortable they are with your size. You know, bring it up, make it a topic, not and don't down yourself while you do it. That's the only thing. Don't don't, you know, talk about yourself negatively. You know, size acceptance is all about accepting you for who you are. No man or woman thinks it's thinks it's cute that you will beat other people to the punch. Nobody thinks that's cute. If you sit there and you go, oh man, if I wasn't such a fat whatever, then I would do this. Or if my big, my butt wasn't this big, you know, maybe I would be able to do X, Y, and Z or blah, 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 blah. It, it, it's negative. And even people who believe in the size acceptance movement and love you because of your size and you are their preference 
they're not gonna like that you talk badly about yourself so my number one recommendation when you're going out and dating is to make it a topic of conversation with that particular person that you like if you know and you've seen in the past that this guy you know in passing has you know well first of all seriously you shouldn't just date someone on the fly because it's superficial as hell if you don't like superficial people and superficial superficial people won't date you then don't be superficial yourself don't just walk up to a guy because he's particularly cute and try to ask him out on a date you know what there are a lot of women out there who are way more successful at dating just because they want to be friends with the guy first and the reason why is because they want to know what's going on in their heads how they tick what they're really about if you take the time out to really figure out what a guy's about or hang out with him or bring him into your circle of other guy friends or other girlfriends whatever your preference is then you know you'll be 10 times more successful in in being in a relationship with that person because you'll see it and you'll hear it and you'll get those clues as to how the guy ticks some guys you know you'll see them with really skinny women all the time but you'll find out just in being friends with them that they really, really don't care about the physical too much. Like the physical is important, but the personality is so much more important to them than the physical is. So they'll date thin, big, wide, um, petite, tall. They really don't care. They're just trying to find somebody that's a good fit for them and will be positive. As long as you don't have a lot of negativity, self-doubt, and you're positive, and you don't come with any drama, and you take care of yourself, no guy is ever going to resist you. No guy is ever, ever, ever going to resist you. So like I said, I put, I'm going to put at least one, one video to the left <laughs> if you're ever pointing at the info box to the left I'm gonna put a link to Temple Christian's video and I can't remember what it's actually called um, I believe it's called um, why men don't date big girls or something like that um, his channel is a little bit adult this video, uh, you know, I definitely go watch this video. I don't think there's anything, you know, as far as harsh language or anything like that in that video. Um, but his channel is pretty adult. So if you're a child or whatnot, you know, please don't watch any of the other videos. I'm not dogging you, Temple, or, you know, I'm not doing anything like that. I'm just saying, you know, for the younger children out there, you know, don't watch any of his other videos but this video is a pretty good one if you're going out and you're trying to date and whatnot and you know just owning up and just facing you know the inevitable up front it's a very good video and um yeah so I think I'm gonna close it out on that um I hope all the girls have a, the rest of a really really good week and I know that this is gonna be a really interesting topic so definitely come back tomorrow um and see some more some more videos that are gonna be posted um marvin i cannot wait to see yours um as the male perspective on on the male perspective blah on dating um or just relationships in um particular and i'm gonna stop talking now <laughs> i have the hiccups too oh my gosh all right bye